Okay. We're here. We're here. Hey, hi, hello. And we're actually doing story time. Okay. We are actually... Okay. 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 I have done all the side quests except for two of them. Yes, even the collection ones. I don't... I don't know. I just wanted to do it. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I have every single character, every single character, even the ones I don't necessarily play, completely outfitted in the best weaponry and the best upgrades in, in armor and everything that could possibly happen. Okay, so that's off the list. Okay, so we have that. I am overflowing with Omni Gel. I am ready for anything. The Mako is going to be well taken care of. We are not going to run in, run out of anything to do anything. I'm so nervous to do this because I looked it up and this mission is going to take me three hours. So buckle up. And um, yeah, so we're going to do Vermeyer. See, I learn. I learn things. I'm probably going to mispronounce it when I'm in there, but you know, it, it is what it is. Um, and in the immortal words of one of my favorite movies, it's 106 miles, miles to Chicago. Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas, yes. half, a half a pack of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes. It's, dark, it's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. We're wearing sunglasses. Get it. All right, let's do this, baby. Let's go. Land, 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 land. Before I back out again and suddenly want to do that rescuing the researchers thing, even though I could never save them and I tried like four times and that's that's just not my strength. Um, kind of feels weird that saving people isn't my strength. You know what I'm saying. It's fine. It's like stealth missions. Why yeah, why do they bother? Must be our Solarian Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go Ooh. in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Thanks, Joker. Oh. That was a smooth as fuck drop off. Hey. You got a clean drop, Commander. Good job, Joker. Keep the Normandy safe. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joker out. You got it. Now, what am I destroying? What do you mean, towers? Smooth as fuck driving already. Is there a crab rave going on? What the hell are you guys? Nothing I can shoot. I fully recognize what we are doing now, I think. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Oh. We are going to make it. We are going to make it, and it's going to be great. And I'm not going to mess up. <sighs> Every time I do a storyline quest, I think I'm just going to do something in a terrible manner, and it's going to be awful, and everybody's going to hate me for the decisions I'm going to make, and it's just, you know, it's a problem. It's the drones that are so hard to... Damn it. Woo! Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. There's something big over there. I'm guessing it's a turret. Yes. Oh, walked right into that. I should probably have waited for my stuff to redo. Alright, where are you? Ow. Oh. Ah, oh, you're up here. I like that I now have the confidence to just, like, stand there being like, the Mako can take this. We'll be fine. Oh, You know what? This would be a nice location to, like, take a vacation at. Minus the Geth. Because of the rocks. Eat shit. Okay. Well, barely missed that one. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and save your bullets to your face? Okay. I got plenty. I. Ooh. Hello? What just happened? Do I have to do all of that again? 
going to have some of my tea and sigh dramatically. Man, I have to do all that fighting again? Son of a bitch. I could breeze past it, but you know what? I don't want any of the guests to remain. So I'm so sorry, Mr. Mr. Crab. There's our target. Love to take out as many of you before I have to get up there. All right, taking too long. I love this new gun. I know it's not. I know it's not a traditional uh, assault rifle, but like, I really like it. Take some cover, shall we? Yeesh! I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to continue on your mark, Commander Shepard. Thank you, Garrus. You are so, like, polite and professional. I have to say, I am sorry for killing the doctor and not letting you do that. I sort of forgot that that was like your thing. Um, but also I can't have you go off the rails. So you know what? Just have me do the killing and you just, uh, you just support my killing. Are you making me some eggs? I'm fighting the geth over here and I would love some high protein. Okay. Ooh, dodge that shit. Sorry for whoever was behind me that ate the brunt of that. Unless it's Rex, then you probably enjoyed it. Excuse me? I would like to shoot you, please. Okay. Perfect. Marvelous. Fantastic. Yeah, they are. Hate controls. That's it. Nothing between us and the Solarian camp now. Shit. I go through the entire game not even airing on those quick time events and then suddenly it's like mm -hmm. but do you remember how to press buttons do you the answer is apparently no i don't apparently not commander normandy's touched down at the base but it looks like we're grounded what does Slaring that mean captain can get here. oh here we go so what are we supposed to do now Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Status? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Hi, Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Uh, now what? What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. I was about to say... Plus, you're all they sent? I told the council to send a fleet. I'm kind of better than a fleet, so it's okay. Sorry they're not coming. The message was unclear. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. Oh. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No. But his geth are everywhere, and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. Okay. This That's is his facility. Sign. There's no doubt about that. What kind of research? What's Saren researching. He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What? What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising. I already know this. Well, their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Oh, no. Oh, this is such a catch-22. Oh, no. Shit. Uh. Okay, um. 
We have to stop this. I'm just gonna. Geth are bad enough. Dude, a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and no. its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. We don't have to destroy this the cure. Can save them. We just have to if make sure they're not beholden to Saren. Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Okay. What? Who? Rex? Oh Jesus! Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll listen to me. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Uh, he's fine. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'm not scared of him. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Uh... Gee, Rex, what do you do? Are you fishing over there? Okay, I need to save. I need to save before any other decisions are being made. I just had a pit in my stomach. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Rex, sweetie pie. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Can we, can we not? Can we not maybe discharge your weapon among, amongst a bunch of people who are, who are probably scared of you a little bit? Everything will be fine. We are not going to destroy this cure. No. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren is the one you should be. We just can't at. make them beholden to him. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. I don't you want to, want do to that. destroy it. No, Help I don't. Me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. It's not that simple. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. Uh, I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. I, oh, sweetheart, no, no. I wouldn't Rex, do this other. Krogan are not your people. Yeah, no, they're, they're not. Of Saren, yes. Yes. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. Sweet Jesus. Please put the gun away. Please put the gun away. Please put the gun right, away. Shepherd, oh God. Your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. <laughs> Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Done. Fine. A-okay. Ha. Okay. That, w I didn't. That was not fun. Okay. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> My heart is going. I did not want to have to kill Rex. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's probably what would happen, isn't it? That's pro- oh, Jesus. This is why we put everything into charm. This is why everything- This is why we stayed the good path. This is why we get all of those brownie points. This is why you do his side missions. Holy shit. So, how's your day going? <laughs> it's going great. I almost just killed my favorite character. Rex is convinced. You convinced Rex that destroying the genophage was the best thing for everyone, including the Krogan. He isn't happy about it. But at least he understands. There has to be a way that we can do that and not Thank you for speaking with the have Krogan. it be terrible. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Okay. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. 
We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where at? Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Okay. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. Okay. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. We'll be fine. It does sound a bit risky. We'll be Is fine. there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Okay, this... Oh... That doesn't make me feel great either. Um, it, it might work. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. Ah. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. This sucks. Um, but we do need to coordinate. We need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Oh. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. All right, Ashley. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. I mean, Ashley's tougher in a firefight. Every time I took Caden, he fucking died. So, um, take Ashley. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Bet. Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Yeah. What's your exit plan? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. Try? If we quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Ugh! I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. Okay. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. Okay. He is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Uh, I, I don't need to do. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. That's very nice. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Listen here, out of all of the races, I kind of had the biggest beef against you guys for being, like, way too clinical and a bit of an asshole. But, like... Damn. Alright, let's do this. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Okay. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. What is it? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. We're a team, baby. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs. Keep your eyes open and fight like I know you can. I'm we'll all good at this motivation things. shit. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step. Am I watching Patton? Single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. 
Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will This game is not going to make me cry. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. I'm going to do my best. Okay. I mean, we already know who I'm taking. I mean, who else am I going to take? They're the best. Boring, I know. But they're the best. All right. Oh, I'm so nervous. Contact. Do you read me, Commander? Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. Do our best. And Commander. If you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. You got it. Heavens to Betsy, this game is not going to make me cry. I mean, it probably will. I am a weepy son of a bitch. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. William, go, 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 go. go. Line, the teams, move. Time to get some attack. I love this gun. Have I mentioned how much I love this gun? Did you just explode yourself? <gasps> I wasn't paying attention because I was too excited that you killed yourself accidentally. Let's turn this shit down. Get communications disrupted. Eat shit. This is, is this time sensitive? Like the faster I get this done, the more people will live? Because that is, that is not good. Okay, okay, this is ridiculous. How do I keep missing you because you guys have snatched little waists, huh? Whoa! Excuse me! Excuse me! Fantastic. Ow. Okay, having this army of Krogans to go up against just sucks. I like it when the Krogans are on my side and my side only, okay? Access base security. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side. Let's do it. They'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. They've got enough trouble. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. I agree. Start from the back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ow! Screw you. Hello? Is someone out there? Hello? Oh! They're in here! Wait, how do we open those? We can get some reinforcements! Oh, they're indoctrinated. Oh. Oh, you're not a Gath. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Lieutenant Gonto Imness of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment Hi. was captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm all you got. Mission wasn't clear. Fleet's not coming. It's okay. We'll be, we'll be fine. See. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. Oh no. Far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I ended them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? Give me some they info. Were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. Interesting. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. 
turn them into empty husks. Let's let him out. end up like that, please. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you. That's fair. Thank you, humans. And good luck. You'll need it. See you later, bud. No, the others I think are too far gone. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go, 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 go. Boy, these guys are squishy as hell. I mean, there's no better way to announce that you're coming by taking an elevator, I guess. So here we go. Oh. Those are gonna be fun when they get turned off. Ow. What is going on here? Where are the gods? Where is Sarah? The hell are you talking about? No. Why can't I use my gun? This is the glorious salvation of my species. Come on. Woo! It done. Don't shoot. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Who are you? Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. What are you talking about? I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. Oh boy. You helped him and you didn't even know why? Oh boy. I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can Let me in. you in. Let me in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Tell me about the research. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his thoughts. This is why he needs the Asari. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the saloon and test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. It's collateral what damage, mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you can oh. feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. Like what happened to Venezia. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Tell me more about this signal. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Then you can leave. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes, changes thought, thought patterns. patterns. Ugh. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Get out of here. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh. Bye. I did. I did. I swear to God, if she's sending me into a trap, I am going to find her and I'm going to kill her myself. This ain't no time for funny business. We want the files because if we have the files, I'm not saying we'll have better luck surviving. Here, it's another beacon, like the one on Eden. Oh shit. We also gotta find the conduit. We gotta find everything, man. Wakey wakey eggs and bakey. Tell me more info that I need to know. Maybe with the cipher, it'll be easier to understand. Nice. Okay, 
Well, that was fun. Well, that was imp important. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. I think you're right. You are not Saren. What is, is this? A reaper? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. Uh oh. I don't think this is a VI. I don't think so either. There's a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. Oh shit. I am sovereign. You're alive? Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. Oh shit. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. Very the philosophical. vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Sweetie, or nothing's impossible at this point. nothing but a genetic mutation. Uh -huh. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. Okay, that's kind of rude. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Uh, there is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Fuck you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? Cycle of destruction. The pattern has repeated itself more times than yeah. you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of the Roman glory, Empire, they are extinguished. The Protheans mm. were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. You built them? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We? Is that a royal we? We order on the chaos of organic evolution. Mm. It exists because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. Excuse me? They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. What do you want? Oh, I should have asked though there are more of you. Resources. Fun. My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our There are existence. more of you. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? Definitely not. We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Who created you? Where did you come from? Who built you? I don't think we're, we're necessarily We built. have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. That's a weird flex, man. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. That, that's a little... I am the vanguard okay. of your destruction. This exchange is over. I am the vanguard of your destruction. Commander, Fuck. got trouble. Let's hear it. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. She... This console's been disabled. Orders command. Uh, let's go set the nuke. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Fuck me sideways. We are legion. I am the vanguard of your destruction. That line is gonna stick with me because that was badass and also very terrifying. Um. Okay, well, we met the Reapers. 
Yippy skippy doo dah. This is great. This is, this is wonderful. I feel like a fucking Fortnite player every single time I duck. Okay. Like, you can't shoot me! Oh, heavens to Betsy. I think that's just gonna be the, the title of this one because fuck my life. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> I don't like the Sovereign. I don't like them. No, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. Oh, let's get the guy on the floor first, shall we? That was my bad. I even saw, I even saw my failing health. That was my bad. I really hate the stalkers, like a lot. Shoot him again. Shoot him again, boys. Shoot him again. He ain't dead. Okay. Let's not fuck this up. Let's not fuck this up. Turret controls. I will take those. Whoa. No. Why does this keep happening? I'm just taking a moment. If this game crashes on me one more time. Goddamn. One more contemplative cookie. The fucking ship is over here. And there's tons of them. And nobody's gonna fucking believe me. Not a single person's gonna fucking believe me. They're gonna be like, what? Sentient ships. Shepard, you crazy. Fuck. But this is also why we save along the way. I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm just saying that I've learned my lesson. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, actually. Hit. I left one shot. Are you both seriously dead? This is what I get for having contemplated cookies. All right, get up. I know, hard day at the office. You know what? You know what? Was that the smoothest that we went through? No. But you know what? We're gonna fucking save again because I'm not doing that shit one more time. Okay. All right, game. If you crash, if you crash, I'm going back to playing Stardew. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Glad we are under that agreement. Now it's our turn. Um. What are we doing? We're going we're going down? Why are we going down? Oh, we gotta place the nuke. This is why I would not make a good commander in real life. My ADHD would be like, what are we doing again? What did he say? Everyone to... bunker down. Bunker down. What does that mean? What is bunker down? Oh, all right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Yay! I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Okay. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, hey! Hey! <clears throat> all right, Caden. Arm that thing. Let's get the fuck out of here. Right? Cool, cool, cool. Good job. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The guest have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never what? make the rendezvous point in time. Shit. Um. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we. What? It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. All right. Up to the AA tower. Move. Let's go. 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 Oh God! Everybody is just getting. Everybody's just getting picked off. We still need our heavy combat squad. Oh, 
A Krogan warlord? Well, he's never heard of cover before in his entire life. Oh, as I say something. What's a ghost? Nope, you're not dead. You're definitely not dead yet. What is that thing? Okay, whatever. We don't have time for this. Go, 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 go. I completely agree, sweetie pie, but one thing at a time, okay? Don't make me regret not shooting you, okay? Okay, cool. That was mean. I shouldn't have said that, but you know what I'm saying, okay? Uh... How bad is it? Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. <sighs> what the hell are you doing, Elenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. Fuck. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Excuse me? Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Elenko. Why are you making me make these decisions? I think Ashley can handle herself. Elenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb The bomb's site. too important. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Fuck! Fuck! Ugh! I hate this. I hate this. I did everything right. Oh god, I'm gonna kill Saren with my own two fucking hands! I'm gonna gut him like a fucking fish. No, you know what? I'm gonna quarter him while he's alive. That's what we're gonna do. God, this is making me make these fucking choices, this fucking asshole. <sighs> Hi, I swear a lot. Sorry. I'm not sorry, but fuck these guys. Stop disabling my shit! Like, Ash, you're great and all, but, like, I gave you guys as much help as I already could. Excuse me, Geth Prime? What the fuck does that mean? Commander, set that nuke and get out. We can't hold them. Damn it. Suppressing fire. Cover your flank. Cover your... We gotta go. We gotta go. Is that fuckface McGee? <gasps> Oh, 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 you're dead. You're dead. You're fucking dead. You are fucking dead. I am taking you out myself. I applaud you, Shepard. My guests were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. So make me understand you work for a reaper. I don't want to tell him what I know. Fuck you. Why are you doing this? Because he loves chaos. You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the reapers are capable of. Doesn't mean you should join them. Stunt. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight they were utterly destroyed. Trees How do Reaper's dead. boots what taste? They had bowed before the invaders. <laughs> the Protheans still exist. A submission not preferable to extinction. You're fooling yourself. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Police. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. 
We organics are Let's driven see. by emotion instead oh. of logic. Oh. We'll fight. He's fucked up. No, we cannot win. I'm looking closer. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make our Is he part Geth now? Think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're just a puppet, you fucking dumbass. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. Oh, but I'm a smarter tool than the others. Go fuck I've yourself. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. What does that mean? The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. <laughs> You're a dumbass. Where's the conduit? Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find Okay. It. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Okay, 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 sweetie. I need you to listen to yourself. You are indoctrinated so already. Manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find oh, honey. To it, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. Oh, honey. This is my only hope. You're a dumb... Okay. I don't want you to join me. <laughs> at all. Um, I don't think you will either. Uh, he doesn't give a shit about the console. You know what? Fuck you. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. Fuck yes. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is never survive my what? Way is the only way any of us will survive. You're lying to yourself. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. That's not how any of this works. But you would undo my you would do okay, uh, he's he is cuckoo for cocoa puffs. He's out. And for that, you, must die. you first, fuckface. Okay, okay. Let's wait for my shields. Oh, oh! I didn't realize that there were more people. Stop it! Get cover! What the fuck? What just happened? We get a mid cutscene? Kaden, I need you to set some shit off. Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? In the fucking head, right now. Right now. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to blow this shit up and we need to go. I had a feeling that that wouldn't be... Oh, I wanted to kill him so bad. <sighs> Alright, everybody, hang on! That was a very impressive nuke. Also, does that mean, like, Ashley's dead dead? I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? We didn't... Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It was my decision. It wasn't your call, Olenko. I had to choose. The bomb was more important. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. What? It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. We'll be fine. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. 
It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Let's do it, Liara. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> So is someone inevitably always going to die? Hey. Incredible. I I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. You never mentioned this? How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? I didn't mean Without to be accusatory. The, cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Let's go. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. Uh, don't I, don't I have like a stealthy secret ship? We don't have a choice. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Uh, I am sorry. The joining is... Exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. They didn't believe me the first time. How are they going to believe me now? It's not like Liara can transfer all that shit to other people. Set the Fine. link up, Joker. They need Fine. to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard. I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Hardly a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. He's not that smart. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Mm. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. Okay. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. I mean, that wasn't completely useless, I guess. So is that, like, the best we could do? Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. It's all good. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. 
If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on a coos? I grieved later. <laughs> I they did their duty. I vowed to do better. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Aww. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. It's not the best Thanks answer I know. Advice, we'll talk another time, Lieutenant. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. Nope. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? We'll never know. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Also, he's a uh, prick. Let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Okay. I should go. Sorry, Ashley. Those are all the guys that lived! Yay! Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. It's okay. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Hey, thank you. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Aye, aye. Saren has to pay for what he's done. I completely agree. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. You got it. So long, Rex. Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. I'm glad we could save some people. You reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Maybe. I'm so mad. We have to be able to get that cure for the genophage. That's just unacceptable at this point. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his geth. Oh, shit. Let's go. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I <sighs> want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Damn straight. Is Uldina, like, actually helping this time around and not just being a salty prick? Okay, I want my cookie now. They're oatmeal coconut. They're delicious. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. What about Eos? Elos. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible through the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Okay. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Uh, okay, but we, okay, okay, okay. Getting half right to the answer does not make it a final answer, okay? Um, I need to go after him because I can't bring up the Reapers. They're not going to believe me. Send me after him. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Burmeyer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. No, you don't. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. You know what? Fuck these guys. You know what? Fuck these guys. 
I'm out. If Saren finds the conduit, I'm out. all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Excuse you me? You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Oh no, you're just gonna be a you Nobody son of a bitch. In the back, Udina. Nobody. Fuck you. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This okay. no longer concerns you. The council can handle this with my help, of course. Okay, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Have you fought Reapers before, honey? Okay, all right. No, 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 no. No, Yava's mad now. No. Mm -mm. Commander. <sighs> Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. They're idiots. They screwed me. It wasn't you. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. And doom the galaxy. Sit on their asses. Saren searching Ilos for the conduit. As soon as he finds it, we're all dead. Fuck. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. What's the use? I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? I'll think of something. I just need some time. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think now is the time to flirt, but that was smooth. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Give me the message. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Huh? You should probably go meet with him. I really don't feel like um, Flux is the captain's scene, but I don't know why I'm taking the attack dog squad, but I think it's just on reflex at this point. Bunch of morons. Protective railing. are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Huh? Technicians are reportedly unsure oh. of what caused the malfunction, That's or even the... what the system was originally designed to do. Uh -oh. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I did all those missions. I have full Paragon points. Nobody's fucking listening to me. Absolutely. Unbelievable. I had Saren like 75% or I got him down to 75% health. After like four shots. But. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. No. It's legal, but restricted. No. Purchase the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. I'm leaving. Getting you your drug fix is not high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? I don't have time for this. If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. Have fun with that. Goodbye. Um, you fucking weirdo. There he is. That was a waste of my time. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. Definitely you not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Okay, but how? There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. 
You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. Is he asking me to commit grand larceny? <laughs> what? If we steal the Normandy, we're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Tell me what What's to do. Your plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador won't forgive this, Captain. He'll be charged with treason. Capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer. Or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Citadel Control sounds way too dangerous. I say his office. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. Ooh. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's fucking go. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. I cannot believe that guy had the gall to ask me for drugs in the middle of me fucking saving the universe. Like, fuck you. What the hell? I'm gonna feel really bad if Captain Anderson dies. Like, I'm gonna feel... Like, whatever guilt I felt around Ashley is gonna be, like, seven times harder. The member of the Alliance military has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Patarians died of natural causes. No, he didn't. Kahoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. I hate this place. I hate this place. That's not how he did. <clears throat> okay. One problem at a time. One problem at a time, Yeba. Anderson. Punch him in the fucking face. I didn't say yes! That was so cool. <laughs> Finally! Ah! Let's go! Goodbye! Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. I'm also 100% committing, like, really high treason. Joker is loving all of this. <laughs> Uh, this is okay. Okay. All right. Well, we're doing this now. We're here. Aren't isn't the Alliance Navy like all there? Holy shit. I just stole the Normandy. I just stole the Normandy. I'm a fucking criminal. I mean, I had to do it. I had to do it. I just want to take back a Reaper body if they have bodies. Hopefully they have bodies. And I just wanna I just wanna fling it on on Oldina's uh desk, the one that he's laying unconscious on, because Captain Anderson's a badass. Uh and then I wanna take it also to the council and be like, look here, motherfuckers, I was right. Eat shit. We're gonna get back into this and we're gonna go kill Saren. We're gonna go kill Saren. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh uh make sure the entire universe like survives. Uh, everybody's gonna be thankful to me, and I'm not gonna go to prison for stealing Normandy, right? I'm glad we're all on the same page. Okie dokie. Well, thank you very much for joining me for another episode, oh my god, of this Mass Effect playthrough. Um, end game next episode. I'm excited. Okay, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, please let me know if I made the right decision. Um, I'd love to know if there were any other choices that I could have made to save Ashley, or if whoever you send with them inevitably dies anyway. So that would be fun to know. Okay, I hope you everybody has a good rest of their day. I will talk to you later. Okie dokie. Goodbye.